Hello there everyone, my name is Matthew McKenna and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be listening to Zane. Now, I'm pretty sure I've done actually every single other member of One Direction and One Direction themselves. I've done quite a few One Direction videos actually. So there's just been Zane, and I haven't done a video on him. Not for any particular reason, just haven't gotten around to it. But I have finally gotten around to it. I should say that I actually have listened to one Zayn song, and that is Dusk Till Dawn. I actually did a video on that song, but I'm really excited to get into some like full-on proper Zayn stuff. I want to say a really, really quick thing. When I do these videos, I can promise you I watch all of the video. I will sit here and listen to or watch the whole thing through, but for a few reasons, the two main ones being copyright and that I feel that footage of me staring at a screen for a minute straight is not the most entertaining thing. My wonderful editor Billy will cut around and just include bits that I'm commenting on. But rest assured I am taking the artist at full value. Before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay. Let us jump right in. We're going to start with what seems to be one of his most popular songs, Pillow Talk. It's a strong start. Really trippy visuals. Oh my god. Wait, oh, it's a face. Blowing smoke. Body but me, body but us, bodies together. I remember mentioning that I didn't like Zane's sort of mumbly voice um, in Dust Till Dawn, but I actually kind of liked it in that bridge. I love to wake up next to you. It really seems like they've gone for something that suits his voice a lot more. I always like when there can be strong, slow beats, especially when they're complemented by like vocals that still keep quite a few syllables that feel like the pace is there. So we'll be the neighbors. I also love that uh, that chorus intro. In the better day, better day, better day. So it kind of does seem like this song is about sex, but kind of in a different way. A lot of the times you hear like sex songs, they're just kind of like done because sex sells, you know? This seems to be more like an intimate analysis of it between these two people. A place that is so good, so dirty and this is really chill. I can actually imagine putting this on my playlist. I actually have a playlist called Atmosphere, and this is kind of my atmosphere. And it is our zone. I really liked that, actually. That was that was really good. It's one of those songs that like I can really imagine leaving on and just kind of having in the background. I know I mentioned it like once or twice, but I think visuals like that are really, really important when it comes to a music video. You can tell a story, of course, but even if the story and the concept itself is like really interesting and amazing, there are still boring ways to tell that story. So when I see music videos like that that get super creative with their visuals, I'm always pleased and I hope to see more music videos that do stuff like that. And while I found the lyric content Concept relatively interesting. It's not really exactly my thing in that way, which doesn't mean I don't like it It just means it's not really the kind of song that I'd listen to while walking to the train station or while driving Because I have like two different music tastes There's stuff that I enjoy actively listening to and singing along to and belting out my little heart to And then there's stuff that I just like to have playing in the background to make me kind of feel in a mood, and I definitely think that's a song I will add to my atmosphere playlist. In fact, you know what, we'll harken back to old times, I'll do this right now. There you go, pillow talk, add to playlist, atmosphere, you probably can't see that, but that's okay. So, now we're gonna move on to a song called It's You. Black and white, dramatic. Organ, actually, is that an organ? Cool. She got, she wow. Got, she got. That drum beat really works with the organ. So does his voice. Ooh, damn. Holy damn, that's, that's something. That's incredible. I'm loving everything about this right now. I won't, I won't, I won't cover amazing that they're showing so much story with a small amount of things that are currently happening. It's always impressive because it's so easy to overdo high notes like that, but my god is he killing it. Oh my god, that's, that's beautiful, honestly. <laughs> I love how he still sounds so relaxed when doing those high notes. He's not straining, he's not trying to go too big. He's just letting the notes flow. And damn, is it sounding good. Oh 
Oh my god, visually, musically, that was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. That really feels like it has so much soul in it as well. 33 and a half million views, that needs like 10 times that. At the risk of sounding kind of mean, I really didn't expect that from Zane. I really expected these songs to be kind of a lot more poppy than they are. Yeah, I honestly, I'm kind of lost for, I'm, <laughs> this is a new thing for me, I, I'm lost for words. I'm not even kidding, I actually just had to walk away for a second because I just, I didn't know how to really continue straight after that song. So this one is called I Don't Wanna Live Forever and it's with Taylor Swift from the Fifty Shades Darker movie. My favorite movie ever, right? Let's do this. Three, two, one. OBS, I've opened OBS for you, Billy. Yeah, Billy, yeah. So one thing I'm liking about Zayn so far is that while I think all three of the songs we've listened to have been more or less about relationships, they've all been done with sort of like a different spin on them, which is one of the reasons I really like Ed Sheeran in that he can sing about a relationship, but the relationship kind of like takes a backseat to the main theme. And so far with the three we've listened to, that's uh, that's kind of the vibe I've gotten from. And I've said this before only a couple videos ago. I honestly feel like the, the general relationship, like, oh, I love you, you love me, or unrequited love or whatever, can really only be done a certain number of ways. So it's really awesome to see artists that take that classic, like, oh, love and relationships, but put a spin on it, that make it kind of something deeper, and kind of more intricate. I love seeing that and I hope it's a trend that continues. So we're on to the last song that I'm gonna be listening to, which is called Still Got Time, featuring Party Next Door. So considering I thought that Zane's songs were gonna be a bit more poppy and they haven't really been like that, I can't help but kind of hope that this song is that like poppy party anthem that I was expecting. Especially because it's featuring an artist called Party Next Door. Time for this song. Feels like I was right. This is like the sort of, yeah, you know how I dance. I like that underlying tune. I don't think it's the message that he's sort of going for because he's saying like, don't worry about having a serious relationship or something like that. Just kind of be casual with me because we've still got time. But I do like songs that have a message of like, you don't need to rush things. You still have time in your life, it's fine. Right out. Sounds like a wild party. So kind of honestly, out of everything we've listened to there, I think that was the weakest song for me. Although, like I said, I think there was kind of an inadvertent message there that I enjoyed. I mean, it, it could have been an intentional message, but it just really didn't feel that way. Because I've met so many people around my age group or even like subscribers of mine that are much younger than me that seem to feel like they have to be doing so much at that stage of their life. They have to have their career planned out. They have to have a relationship. They have to know when they want to have a family. I'm 23 and I don't even really know what I'm doing. I know what I want to do, but I'm kind of just scattered all over the place. I'm not nearly as organized as a lot of people seem to think I am, and that's fine. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Zane? What was your favorite out of the songs we've listened to? Do you agree or disagree with anything that I've said? I'm always curious to hear your thoughts, so chuck them in the comments below. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below as well, and as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya!